I don't think we ever get punished. <laughs> now we need another um, Lore Keeper Polk out to keep it going. Like, we literally go ab absurdly infinite. <laughs> huh. This should be interesting. Do you enjoy infinite decks? Well, one of our viewers gave us an infinite Sathrobar deck, and with a few minor adjustments, we ended up with this deck. It has a soul fragment package and a number of other control tools to bias time into the late game and complete the quest so that we can lore keeper Polkelt and tap into a zero cost Sathrobar. With help from Philosophy or Expired Merchant before we shuffle things back into our deck with Plot Twist, we can get extra copies of Sathrobar and then be able to go infinite. If you keep making copies of Sathrovar and Lorekeeper Polkelt, it's actually pretty consistent. But we also have payoff cards like Canrathod Ebonlock and Sociologist Militia in case we choose to go that route. And to ramp up the meme potential of the deck, it also has Infectious Spoiling and Animated Broomstick to transform those 2020 Paladin minions into Infectious Spoilings and let the chaos unfold. This deck was so much fun, we're definitely going to be playing it again, but we are going to make some minor tweaks. For example, I don't think Rafam Scheme is one of the better activators for Plague of Flames because the negative synergy with Canrathod Prime. We might include a Desert Hair or something similar to give it a little bit more consistency and still be able to control the board, but we'll see. Anyways, these games were amazing, so check out this highlight and let me know what you think. Uh, definitely, of course, keeping the quest. Paladin, okay. Animated broomstick could be a clutch, but I'd really like a soul shears, a dark sky, perfect. Um, philosophy's okay for a plot twist, Aranasi broodmother uh, combo. So yeah. All right. So the idea with this deck is that we complete the quest, and then we can, if, you know, the draws go well, uh, we can Lore Keeper Polkelt for a tap Sathrovar, and then, either then or before then, we Philosophy. Dark Skies is maybe what we're going to need to deal with that, because just a Soul Shear on that is not particularly exciting. Uh, Dark Skies will deal with that, and I think we should go ahead and do it. So, bummer to use it right away, but then again, if we can save ourselves four, six, eight extra damage, whatever it's going to be, um, if we left it on board, let's get rid of it. Alright, that's not a big deal. We can tap and maybe even use Soul Shear. Nice. Yeah, sure. I mean, Paladin, minions, buffing, annoying, kill it. <laughs> we have quite a bit of removal. And with Plague of Flames now in hand, definitely okay. Alright. Very cool. So we'd like Philosophy on the Sathrovar's ideal. We can use it on an Aranasi Broodmother for Plot Twist healing, but we're actually okay at the moment. Now next turn I may want to Sociologist. So, Soul Shear. And killing this off is okay. Alright, yeah. We'll summon four, unless we top deck several of our soul fragments. Four, three, three is pretty good. Kill both of those, have a 5-5 five, five, and a 3... Oh, no. 
We just drew one. It's still worth it. Let's go for symmetry. I don't think we get punished for symmetry against a paladin. Unless he's a Highlander paladin, which he's running uh, Light Force Zealot, so he's not. He does not have Zephyrus. Unless he's a god in drawing, and then he has it in hand. <laughs> hmm. Awkward choices, I know. So... We can go up to 10 cards and then plot twist. That's annoying. Hello, Canrathon. We don't have our broom. Oh yes, I love this. I forgot that that was in there. I think we are going to need the healing. I'm going to kill the 1-3. The Most likely. Unless we top deck something amazing. Spirit, Spirit Jailer is nice. All right, quest complete. We don't have Polkelt, but fortunately we haven't drawn Sathravar. We don't have a philosophy, oh no, we do have a philosophy in hand. So we can get a, if we can get, line up a zero cost Sathravar, we can actually copy Sathravar as a zero cost minion and um, be able to Start the infinite Sathravar chain. And Canarthod Prime is a an eight cost. So I six seven. Okay. Let's go. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. That's a turn. But it's not over. So we did mess up our Lore Keeper Polkelt shuffle um, by shuffling in the Sathravar. But we've got 15 stats on board. He might be looking for a um, Librem of Justice here. Oh, Blessing of Authority. Uh, Keladon deals with that quite nicely. <laughs> okay. Oh, Animated Broomstick. That's fun. So, Caledon, Animated Broomstick, and then we run one of the Sathravars into the Devout. Yeah, yeah, okay, that'll work. And we still have enough mana to tap. This will get us a Sathravar. Sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're two off lethal. If we get, um, oh no. We do have animated broomstick number two to 
let us do an infectious spoiling on that, now that it has all the Librams as well. Uh... <laughs> School spirits. Sadly, if I cast it first, it doesn't actually help because this dies. I could Sathravar on Sathravar right now, but let's tap. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, right, the Rafam. I uh, kill this because I know he has two Librams in hand. <laughs> so that could have gone better, but we can get another Kanrathod in our deck if it survives. I mean, he has to have like Libram of, a, or Libram of Justice plus Consecrate to deal with this. Which is unlikely. Hello? Hello? Currently, we're very far from lethal. Yeah. All right. That means he's not doing stuff to wreck us, which means we can. I will go ahead and kill that. If I can. What well, I pretty much always can. The question is, what do I have to run into it? to kill it. Okay, well, I'm going to do at least a damage to your face. <laughs> uh, so. There's that. And then we go here. Go ahead and trade these in. Go ahead and let this guy absorb the damage. And yeah. Um, we have a big board of demons that we're able to... Well, we're not guaranteed. So the Rafam's scheme is great with Plague of Flames. What else did we get? We got the uh, Spirit Jailer. Huh. Okay. But we're going to have more and more Sathravars in the pool. So a higher chance of getting them back. And by the way, we have... How much damage? Can you kill another Sathravar? No. Alright. We haven't lost an Aranasi Broodmother. Hmm. So we have 12... No, 17. We're 3 off. That only does to minions. We don't have any direct face damage. So I can push 17 and then I could Plague of Flames everything away. And then Canrathod. It's awkward, it's weird, it may be wrong. He has three health, and we have four. <laughs> no! Why are the one ones coming back? We have like how many Sather bars in our pool? And yet, when the one ones start coming back, they do a feedback loop, and so it gets worse. Um, still, I mean, he's probably dead, right? Right? Hello? Right? Hello? He doesn't have enough uh, discounts to get. Play Liadrin plus Leverum of Hope. He's currently dead on board, even after healing for eight. Even if he, um. Oh, I meant to do well played. 12, 13. I mean, we actually only have one overkill. Kill him with the one ones because the one ones really wanted to join in the final battle. <laughs> All right. 
not I mean we had the infinite Sathra of our setup. Imps for the win, right? <laughs> oh yeah, there was a quest. Uh let's give it one more. Cause that was fun. And then I'm gonna have to call it a day. But that went remarkably well. Okay. Animated broomstick. Mage, school spirits, very likely to be good. Uh, animated broomstick we won a little bit later. We can devolve the game into chaos with in infectious spoiling and animated broomstick. I think this is this deck is going to deserve a little bit more than just one day. Uh, or just these two games. We, we need to play this a little bit more um, on stream. Because <laughs> this has the potential... It's certainly not a meta deck by any means, but uh, it has the potential to be the most crazy, fun, absurd deck. <laughs> huh. For some reason, I thought we were going to top deck Sathravar. I thought it like lit up for a second, but it turned out to be our tap card. I could kill that. Wait, what? But it only hits minions. And so, yeah, let's not waste a Dark Skies on that. Um, Canrathod... Not bad. But yeah, Canrathod Prime is only 8 mana, so he doesn't interfere with the whole game plan of infinite Sathravars, and yet he's a huge, great payoff for it. Philosophy... Will allow us to get an extra Sathravar. We preemptively prepare for the infinite. We'll have space. And because we're going to plot twist anyways, the buffs don't matter from the outcast position. Um, we're, I mean, for the infinite Sathrabar, we need to shuffle them back into the deck anyways. But now we'll have two chances. By the way, there's Lord Keeper Pork out. But we want him off of Plot Twist. Um, we've taken a fair bit of damage. Mostly because I've been tapping, not because of this. <laughs> uh, okay, we're a turn away. We could... Philosophy again, get a third Sathravar. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I could also toss Canderthod out there, but if he plays two spells, he just kills Canderthod. Alright, we're set up. Now we just need our survivability. Next turn, it'd be awesome if we got a Soul Shear. I would gladly take a plot to us, though. Uh, or... A second um, school spirits. All right. How badly will our death rattle pool get wrecked? Because I don't want this in hand, but he just pings it off. By the way. Magic Dart Frog and Cobalt Sticky Finger? What? Why not Prime? Because I'm stupid? <laughs> Good point. Touche. Well played, sir. Uh, good observation. Because I wanted to ensure that I could get this out for zero cost <clears throat> that I knew I was going to top deck. And um, totally not wreck myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to dump it and also let our opponent say, wow. Except he's not Anduin. Um, but I don't think there's a punish unless he has like... Arcane Flak Mage, which is still in standard, right? Uh, and a secret. 
No, our payoff for infinite Sathravar has been wrecked. You fool. <laughs> uh, still, um, we can trade off the Owl Mage. I, I have no idea what our opponent is playing. Um, yeah. But now we have plenty of space for, um, let's see, five total? Yes, okay, we're fine. So I don't have to trade this off. So I will go ahead and trade one of the three threes in and get one extra face damage. Do I care about the extra face damage? Now that we're not bringing back demons, yeah, let's do this. Uh, the punish is flame strike, but if he's got flame strike, me. Didn't see that one coming, I'll admit. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. Uh, we should have had a uh, Candor Thought out there a turn earlier. And um, he might have dropped an Iron Beak Owl a turn earlier in that case, but still. Huh. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, he's setting up for a Flame Strike. But he doesn't have enough mana for it. So he is Highlander. Shadow Flame! Nice. And so he can just ping her off next turn. Okay. I respect it. Thank you for the healing. Um, I would love a plot twist. I can dump the reform scheme if I need to. How many Sathravars do we want? Ah. <laughs> uh... I don't have anything better to do, though. I mean, I, well, I could just drop one of the Aranasi Broodmothers. Highlander. I think I'm going to want the healing, though. So yeah, we're setting up for an absurd uh, infinite Sathravar. Or not... Well, yeah, no, we can go infinite. Uh, we don't need Kanrathod to go infinite. It's just not quite as high a payoff. And also, without Canterthod, we're quite fine tossing these out here. Okay, so if he has a 1 damage AoE, then uh, we get wrecked, but... So we'll probably have 9 cards at the end of the turn, which means we're going to start at 10 again. Okay. That's okay, we still have two Sathravars. <laughs> There's plot twist. Okay. I'm still gonna tap for an extra card. If we get Lorekeeper Polkelt, we can actually play Lorekeeper Polkelt and tap. So no, I'm not gonna soul shear my own wisp. Uh, just to get two more shards, potential healing. Okay, there's plot twist if we need to redo it. We did get Lorekeeper Polkelp. Did we also avoid drawing our both our Sathravars? Yes. So we still have a Sathravar. Now we have a zero cost Sathravar. Which we're going to hold back on. So that we can Sathravar next turn, and then copy Sathravar. It'd be nice if we have something on the board. And hey, Wisp is OP. OP. So if all we have is a Wisp, and that's what we have to copy, I'll do it. Ow. Okay, so we copy Polkelt. We drop Sathravar, and then we broom, kill the Alexstrasza. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. I will split your soul I will split your soul oh, please tell me I, I hit Sathravar, not Hulk Help. Okay, good. Split your soul 
and Wisp for face damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we only have the one Sathravar in deck, and we're gonna no no we we reshuffled. That's right. Um, no. But we have started the infinite chain. Sadly. Ooh, nice. Oh, I could have Lore Keeper. Hmm. Interesting. I can actually keep it if I keep Lore Keeper Pole Kelting. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, let's just drop this for now. Next turn, I will Sathravar and then Sathravar. And then I can follow it up with a Lore Keeper Pole Kelt Sathravar. Uh, or tap. Another Devolving Missiles would wreck me, so we're not going to uh, Expired Merchant. Thank you, Reno! <laughs> if he's got Devolving Missiles, he's going to use it here. Uh, wait, 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 no, he already used a standard Devolving Missiles. Ow. Right, uh, so um, he hasn't randomly generated anything. Now, of course, this <laughs> could randomly generate. That's not gonna do it. He's just buffing my, oh well, okay. Um, my Aaron Essie for me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Um, generated card, yeah, and he's Islander. You're right. Yep. So that's not bad, and we get to copy it. Infinite Sathravar. Uh, we are gonna overdraw something, but um, next turn we can pull Kelts. And then hero power as long as we don't burn our Sathravar in deck. And then we can keep Sathar or yeah, Sathravar going. I mean, okay. This is awesome and crazy. But half of it is because our opponents, Reno, just gave us ridiculous value. Now these turn into eight drops. Like Okay. Ah, he dealt with it! Good job, man! Good job! And I'm totally fine with it because I want the game to keep going. We've got um, 15 damage, so he's alive at 5. Okay. If power is what you seek, not now how do we refine this to become a fatigue warlock? Um, good question, good question. Alright. Now the question is, should I have copied Lore Keeper Polkelt instead? But <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. And you know what? For good measure. Ah, <laughs> uh, why not? I don't think there's harm. We do have a Lore Keeper Polkelt in deck, that's right. So we might actually top deck it here. I mean, this is insane. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not going to overdraw. We've drawn two of our, apparently we have two Athravars left, and we have quite a few Aranasi Broodmothers in our deck to heal us. So I don't think we're ever in trouble of dying. My cargo, my business. But he could freeze us if he gets a uh, Frost Nova off of this. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I think game over, maybe? Uh, ooh, that is a perfect flame ward. I'm still gonna punch him for five. We have Lore Keeper Polkelt. Yeah, we'll just reload the board if he's not dead here. 
Oh, he's dead. Ah, uh, wait. One off lethal? <laughs> Alright. I don't think we ever get punished. <laughs> now we need another um, Lore Keeper Polk out to keep it going. Like, we literally go ab absurdly infinite. <laughs> uh, we are going to burn our... Ooh. We are going to burn our Sathrabar. No, we shuffled. We shuffled. So there's a possibility that we burn something else, which could be another Lore Keeper Polk Elf. Uh, but who knows? All right. Again, he could freeze us forever, but we can kill our own stuff and refill the board uh, a bit if we are desperate. How many Lore Keeper Polkelts and Sathervars was that? <sighs> this deserves a little bit more play. We're going to play it a little bit next weekend, too. Um, but yes. Fun times. And how do we make it become a Fatigue Warlock? That that was Fatigue Warlock, right? Because, because we keep shuffling stuff into our deck, we never fatigue. And so our opponent... I mean, it is kind of Fatigue Warlock, right? <laughs> wow, that was crazy fun. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you want to join the experiments happening live, with the possibility of your comments showing up in a future video, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.